So if there is a module and you want to copy that on your custom templates in HubSpot, then this video will be the right fit for you because I'm going to show you how you can copy a certain module from your HubSpot template. Hey guys, in this video, we will be creating a modules in HubSpot via HTML or a Hubble um, version. But I just want to throw this um, link to you, this page, because for sure I cannot cover everything, but you can always use this as your documentation if you want to learn more how you want, um, how you can create or use the modules in HubSpot templates, okay? So basically, there are two ways for you to create a modules, okay? First one is via CLI. So when you said CLI, um, you can you can use an IDE for that, like Visual Studio Code. And then the way for you in, in creating a modules are just via Hubble, okay? And most of the, when you said via Hubble, these are like you need to code or you need to code the, the module short code. Hubble is kind of similar with a short code. If you're using WordPress, so those, um, yeah, basically you are calling that specific um, module to that HTML. Okay. Okay. So that's it. Now, if you want to be, if you want it to be not too technical, you can always use a designer manager. So the designer manager can be only accessed via browser. So this is the designer manager, by the way. So you can create a module by clicking this one, like create new, and then you choose whatever, like you choose the components first and then click next. So it will look like this if you um, decided to create a module. So components. So inside the components, you can put an HTML plus Hubble. You can also put your modules, the CSS in here, and also you can put your um, custom JavaScript. And then here as well, you can add your fields. So I don't really recommend, although this is for non-developer um, thing, but I really don't, I don't recommend this one because it really overblows your your um, file manager or files in, into your HubSpot. Yeah, I, I, I just, I recommend you to use this if your modules is so complicated. For example, like maybe you want to create a, a module that has a um, logical functions, like if it's a, um, a multilingual flag or thing, then probably you can come up with this kind of, um, you can use these text modules, but there's also a way for you to, to create that kind of logical function via Hubble. Now in this video, we'll just cover this part here called, um, the third way for you to create a module. So via Hubble that plus HTML. Okay, I'm going to remove this one. Okay. So I have this simple landing page in here. And then if you click this edit view file, you'll see that my text files in here are just static. So how we can convert this into module. So what you can do, let me just open a new tab in here. Now, if the modules is super default or just a basic modules, you don't need to create a custom module. What you can do is just set a Hubble. Okay. So for example, I want to put a text file in here. Like I don't want this to be, I don't want it. I don't want this to be static text. I want them to, um, I want them to change the text in here. So what you can do is get the module. So I'm going to go in here, HubSpot. This at HubSpot is the default 
um, like default module. So if the modules is already existing in the default HubSpot, you don't need to create a new one. So I'm going to look for that. Um, let's choose a text module. Okay, so text module, I think this is good. This is great. Yeah, I think this is good. So we'll copy that. If you scroll down at the bottom, you can see this Hubble in here. So this is the Hubble. So we copy that and then go in here on the confirm placement or on my template. And we will replace this section in here with a Hubble. Okay, and then update. And for the title, I want this to be um, section one title. Okay, and then update, publish. Now, if I go into the page, okay, I already have here called section one. So I can replace that with that so basically i can it's no longer you know it's no longer static i can replace it whatever text i want to now another thing what i really like about the hubble is you don't need to regenerate a new modules or regenerate a new regenerate a new module versus on the component so what you can just do is just copy this module again and then let's say, again, I don't want this to be static. I want it to be dynamic. So I can change that, remove this, and then just replace the module number. You can even have module one or something. And then this is the section two. Place. Refreshed. And then Okay, section one, this is section two. So that's it. So here, this is a confirmed placement video reels. I'm good in that. The reason why I want this to be dynamic because there are some, like there are some pages that, because we created, I think, hold on, uh, let me just pull the other landing page in here okay so we have this agency partnership that yeah we don't want to you know we don't want to put use a name called real or gallery for this one because this is a case study so i don't want to use an a static you know text there so here we'll change this case studies so this is just a basic way for you to create a module via Hubble. And yeah, if you have any questions about creating a templates in HubSpot, you can always message me, check the link description below, and I'll try my best to answer you.